to the channel. Uh, today we found a lovely little church. Uh, it's called St John John's Parish Church. It's a Church's Conservation Trust church, so it should be open. Um, I just thought I'd give you a quick overview of the area that we're in here. Beautiful countryside. Beautiful Kentish countryside, as you can see. A lovely little uh, porchway entrance way here. Beautiful old graveyard. Some very big, tall stones. Wow, must be about five, six foot higher some of these. We'll have a look around that in a minute, but um, firstly we'll take a look around the church itself. Looks like an extremely old church. Flint and stone construction, rather than just being flint alone. You see that old cross up there on the, uh, the porchway? You see the tower up there, it's all uh, wood shingle. St Mary's, the church on the edge of the marshes. Look at that door, that's one of the oldest church doors I've ever seen. Beautiful English oak, naively carved. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's old. Isn't that glorious? That's the back of the old door. Very high vaulted ceilings. Look at that old font, that's uh, certainly had many years of use, lead lines. I don't think uh, it's one my brother's been to. It's an old uh, stove there. Mid 19th century, apparently. Look at those old. Views. really old and it's in Higham actually yeah it's St Mary's Church in Higham if you want to freeze that there's a little bit of information on the church itself as I say it's an extremely old church no doubt about it very high ceilings. Look at that window up there. It's beautiful, very old. Bell pulls there. As you can see, went all the way up to the tower. A 
beautifully carved arches there. All original. All these lights came on, they must be uh, on the sensor. <laughs> you can see the wall there that's uh, splaying out slightly. Shows how old it is. I'll say the original oak the ceilings up there. Not as ornate as some, but that big oak beam running across, supporting that roof span. Have another old boiler heater there. Look at the uh, the carving of this divider here, and it's absolutely massive. It really is. Don't normally see anything that chunky and carved out of the English oak. Jesus on the cross up there to top it off. That's beautiful. Really well carved. Uh, Rood screen, yeah, it's 15th century. So it is old, very old. And look at that old pulpit. Wow, that's uh, very old. Let's have a look. That's 14th century. Look at the way that's been carved. That's beautiful. Didn't have the tools that we have now, and uh, that's still stunningly, beautifully carved. Quite naive in a way, some of it, but lovely nevertheless. Never seen a screen that big before. Coming through to the, the main altar. It's strange to have it segregated with such big chunky Dividers. Look at that old uh, late 19th century parish chest. They're beautiful. Definitely some history here. Oh, apologies, I'm standing on a a stone, but that's uh, unavoidable, really. 24 years old. Can't see a. Uh, a date on that one. It was obviously uh, left blank for more of the family, but they weren't buried there. Got another stone here, 73 years old. And the 37 year old, um, looks like uh, 1842. It's not really, really old interments. 1873 there and 1822. Wow, that's a <coughs> an old one there. Here lieth buried the body of Elizabeth Bottler, who died. It's Roman numerals actually, day of October, Anno Donomai 1615, late wife of William Bottler of Rochester Esquire. Daughter of S. William Crayford in Kent, Knight, leaving two sons, two daughters, Henry Thomas, Anne, and Elizabeth. Wow, look at that uh, shield there. Can't make out too much of it. It's quite, again, naive. But rest in peace. And this is a, an altar stone, late medieval. Yeah, it looks like uh, 1148 possibly was the, uh, that was probably in use. That lovely. The windows are probably uh, long gone maybe, and just been replaced with that. What a beautiful church. It's very simplistic because of the age, I suppose. Come through the side again, a lovely divider into the, looks like the main church. Let's 
have a walk up here. Look at the uh, the carvings there. They're obviously interments that have been covered up. They're probably the original interments. I can't really make out. They're probably really old, 13th, 14th century maybe, if not earlier. And look at that beautiful window there. Isn't that superb? Beautiful. Lovely old chair. Look beautiful. That's a carved stone there above the altar. Lovely. Matching chair this side. And that's like a really old interment. It's uh, long worn off. Little enclave here. What's this? Uh, Piscina, mid 14th century. Look at those uh, faces there. Again, another beautiful window. Exquisitely decorated and uh, still very vivid colour wise. It's delightful. Another stone there. Here plays the body of Anne. I can't read the rest of it really. Beautiful. And again, you've got some uh, faces there, they're quite haunting really. Sun just coming through that stained glass there. I don't think this camera gives you uh, <coughs> very good coloration. It's, uh, I, I do look at the video sometimes, I think that's nowhere near as vivid as uh, actually being there, so apologies for that. But lovely to see the sun coming through the stained glass. <coughs> apologies. We've got quite a few pits. I assume that's a pit. There's one here. There's one there. As you can see. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah. Another one here. And the original there. Look beautiful. So there's more of an ornate ceiling here on this side. Quite lovely, isn't it? So that was the inside of that beautiful church. Have a look down there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look. Just got the sun breaking through now over the altar stone. I'm sure when my uh, my twin brother journeyman sees this it's one that he's bound to visit now as it's uh, always open and it's a church's conservation trust which means it is uh, open all the time. Oh that is one heavy door beautiful and heavy and if you ever come here and you think you can't get in, uh, there's a latch down there you need to, if you see that, push that over, it locks it, hope this one locks it, then turn that and uh, yeah, away you go, you're in. There you go, some beautiful carving here, this little uh, inset, and on this side, beautiful oak roof. The same, we'll have a, oh, a look around the graveyard. Turns to a beautiful day today by the looks of it. 
me a geese or ducks. <laughs> Look beautiful. It's a lovely graveyard. Looks like a uh, war grave as well. Try and avoid walking over any graves. But there's definitely one there. Um, Private H.E. Crundwell, the Queen's 20th November 1914, age 23. Bless you. May you rest in peace. And that's the back end of the church. You see the spire up there with uh, wood clad shingle. Beautiful. Got uh, another wall grave down here. We'll have a quick look while we're here. Can't really make that out. It's uh, started to wear. Um, something for burn. Looks like HMS Bulldog, 3rd of April 1946, age 37, I believe. So obviously in the Royal Navy. Looks like just fractionally after the war. Look at that stone there, look. It's just falling out, it's beautiful. unusual stone. I can just make out Beatrice um, Videosia. His wife died a 78 years 1933. It's a really unusually carved stone and it's actually the, set in a beautiful countryside as you can see. Obviously, a, uh, it's not a working church anymore, so to speak. The Conservation Trust has got it, so they're just going to maintain it for prosperity and, you know, keep it looking nice and original and spend some time, effort and money on it. Beautiful old church. They've got some relatively new interments still, though. 2018. There we go. See the uh, Union Jack flying over there. Such a lovely churchyard. Oh, look at that bear slur. Zachary Benjamin David Holman. Died 2nd of March 2015, age 3. God bless you. Rest in peace. And, uh, Royal graves there, typical of some of these old churchyards, some of the original stones. As I say, they've got some really large stones here. And Some of these are, have got to be 
five foot high plus I suppose they certainly made a statement in their day but that was a brief look around this beautiful church and cemetery And uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So I want to wish you a lovely day. I hope you join me on the next one. I know it's been a few weeks since uh, my last, but like I think life gets in the way, but hopefully I'll uh, do a few more now. Again, thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Thank you.